Hello everybody and welcome to the video where I show you my entire No Limits 2 building process. Yay! So before we begin I want to go ahead and delve into the things that you'll be seeing in this video. First and foremost you'll be seeing the track work being, I don't know, shaped, built, whatever you'd like to call it. You'll also see supports being built, terraforming, some terra painting. I didn't show you all of it. Um, I did not unfortunately show all of the uh, work I did with the trees and the shrubs because I just, I simply didn't have enough um, time to do that. And when I say time, I mean I didn't want to use up more of my uh, computer disk space than I had already done because, I mean, making this video, I had like hours of footage recorded to make this whole thing. Anyway, this first thing that you're seeing is the setup that I'm going to be doing for the basic ride, which is going to be called Fangrier. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet during some parts of the video, probably a lot of the video because I've probably run out of things to say. So I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy this and I will be talking again soon. So I had this idea, this neat little idea for a Norwegian loop that actually had the track that comes out of it thread the loop itself. And I wanted to do this where it uh, comes up onto a cliff and I've always wanted to do something like that. And this ride gave me the opportunity to do so, so that's kind of what this is all about. Oh, um, this is the first cutaway section where I'm actually talking. Whoa! Hooray for video editing. Anyway, um... I just want to point out that most of the red will have horrendous shaping until later in the video when I have finalized everything. And some of the little minor tweaks that I've done to the track I have not included. Because, as I said before, it's taking up a lot of disk space already. So, uh, please enjoy the rest of the video and I should be talking about my next little cutaway soon, I think. I don't know. Haven't gotten there yet. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the music. One thing about when I build is I like to actually view the train running through the course. That seems to be a big thing in my ride and I like to see how a ride will, I don't know, 
flow through the track instead of just looking at a speed comb or something, which I'll be turning on later on. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of why I'm going into the simulator and doing stuff like that.
Oh, this part was fun. This is the terraforming of the entire ride. The idea behind Fenrir is it's based off of a ride in Norway called Speed Monster. I wanted to recreate a kind of similar environment. Yeah, a kind of similar environment to like a Scandinavian um, northern area. If that makes sense. I feel like I was successful in that, and I think it came together pretty well. So uh, this is what you're seeing right now. So um, enjoy, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Alright, this was actually pretty easy to do. I actually was playing around with different ideas on kind of terraforming my own boulders and stuff into the park and stuff. I also had other layers, as you can see, from things like gravel to uh, custom grass texture that I found that it was really nice, to all kinds of different uh, textures that I will be including in the ride uh, actual package file. And yeah, that's kind of what's going down with that. You'll see me painting the terrain to make it look a lot more, I don't know, less grassy. Like, I don't think there are any 70 degree grass slopes, but 
I mean, if I'm wrong, feel free to point me out on that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what's going down.
All right, what this is right here, I'm playing around with the different settings to get a uh, kind of brake fin that would actually be applied in real life, at least for a certain section of track. The rest of the sections would be, um, they would be separate fins with uh, maybe, I don't know, they're just a lot shorter fins and those can retract and or um, like push back up and that would be able to stop the train completely and or not. Unfortunately, I suck with scripting, so I didn't include that. That would have been a nice addition, but I just, I couldn't do it. All of the supports that you saw me build, all of them are themed around supports that real companies have used. And when I say real companies, I mean the company that specifically manufactures this type of roller coaster. I follow their uh, support systems very, I don't know, thoroughly. It's kind of a little passion of mine. I don't know. I'm a geek that way. Oh, and as for the fins, I decided later on that it would be better if I just replaced them completely with uh, fins that I made out of supports, which actually ended up looking pretty nice. I made a lot of things. Actually, pretty much everything that you see that's not the ride and the trees and textures on the ground, pretty much everything else is supports, and I'm actually pretty proud of that. Alright, after hours and hours of building, I finally have a finished product, and I'm actually pretty glad to say that I'm proud of it. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to let you go ahead and go through the ride yourself. I, I went ahead and took a video of myself walking through the queue, walking under the tents I made, under the track at one point, in through a forest, up some stairs, and into the station where you wait for your train, and eh, you just, you'll just see it. Um, I'm not gonna be the guy that, you know, is up there announcing to everybody, enjoy your ride, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys now, enjoy your ride.
Alright guys, that is the end of the ride. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. I will be posting a lot of links down below to not only the ride that inspired this, the video that I make for Fenrir eventually when I actually do upload it. Not this video, the actual like music video like I did for Meteor, but with uh, this ride. I'm going to post that down there as well. Eventually I'm going to post the download link also, but I don't know if I'm going to be... Um, if I'm going to be posting this ride soon. So I'm kind of thinking since I hit over a hundred subscribers on YouTube, which is absolutely mind boggling to me. Since I hit that last time uh, I uploaded a tutorial video, I would like to, I don't know, extend my, my hand of goodwill to you guys and maybe upload it to a file sharing site for all of my YouTube viewers to download and, you know, view and ride at their own free will. If you guys would like to see that, feel free to let me know, and I will, um, I don't know. If you guys want me to upload the ride to some file sharing website and then post that down in the chat below, then I will do that for you guys, but that's only if you guys would like that. Because honestly, I don't think I'm going to be uploading this ride anytime soon. It would probably be in a few months, and there's a reason for that, but I don't want to get into it now. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. If you haven't hit that uh, subscribe button, feel free to do that. It means a lot to me. And, um, I don't know, at 500 subscribers, if I ever get there, I'll do something stupid on webcam for you guys. <laughs> oh, and the best thing is, I'll let you guys uh, choose what I do. That'll be fun. And, I don't know, sketchy for me. So, again, thank you. Um... <laughs> Like I said, getting over 100 subscribers has been crazy. I'm a lot more active on my Twitch channel, and I actually added all the scenery and all the shrubs and trees and stuff on my Twitch channel during a live stream. If you guys would like to, uh, you know, check out my Twitch channel, I'm also going to leave that in the link below. Hitting follow on that would also be pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Enjoy the rest of your day.